it's coffee time. This is a really oddly shaped mug. It's a TARDIS mug, obviously, but it's also a square. So like when you go to drink out of it, it's either, I either have to try to aim it right here or in the corner. And I find that if I aim it for the corner, there's less of a possibility of coffee accidentally getting all over here and not so much in my mouth. Which is why I don't use this mug very often, because it's just a little bit awkward. It's the same with my uh, Rubik's Cube mug. So that's why you don't see the TARDIS. You don't see the TARDIS nearly as often as the TARDIS deserves to be seen. I recognize that. I realize that. And also, I think this is like the only mug that I own where I really prefer to just not have the spoon in there because <laughs> I'm already trying to trying to get get a handle on everything else going on. Anywho, so <laughs> today I was doing a bunch of test recordings for the new Awesome Knots character because they asked me to do the voice. And they gave me a bunch of different options of like things that haven't really been utilized within the Awesome Knots universe as far as characters go. So it's just things to try in order to figure out whereabouts the voice should be. So I tried all of them, but the thing is, Sam was supposed to be out of the house. So I was like, cool, I can do all of my like real dumb voice attempts without somebody here to hear me do it. He wound up not getting picked up because he was supposed to go and help a guy move, like a friend of ours. It's like, hey, Sam, you want to come over and help me move? I'll buy you pizza. And Sam was like, I'm there. But he was supposed to leave, like, a few hours ago and just left not too long ago because they were running late. And I really needed to just get it done. So Sam was like, look, don't worry about it. Just do the voices. I'll put on my headphones. I won't even be able to hear you. I'll play games. I'll make sure the sound is really loud. I won't hear you at all. Just, you know, do whatever you want. And I was like, okay, fine, I will. Okay. So he puts his headphones on, he's playing Dark Souls, whatever. And I'm doing all of these different voices. And <laughs> when I'm done, I send them all over there and I'm like, yay, I'm done, done with those. All right, cool. I get up to heat up my coffee and Sam follows me in there and he goes, I feel like your sassy voice could have been a bit sassier. <laughs> I was like, you, you were listening to me, ah! <laughs> flipping all the tables over. It's like, why didn't you listen to me? No. But I am glad to have that done because now we're on the track to figuring out what the voice should be. I'm not going to spoil it though. I'm not going to spoil what it sounds like at all, but it should be fun. There was a, there was a pretty broad range of different like accents to attempt. One of which I was real bad at. <laughs> and I said that in the email. I was like, just so you know, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> so... That'll be fun. That'll be really fun. I think we're going to set up a, a Skype call so that we can go through some coaching, you know, so that it's not just, hey, can you try this? And me being alone, just trying it and then sending it in a Skype call. You can like literally just try it right there and then they can have immediate feedback, which is nice. But um, <laughs> a friend of mine named Nathan, who used to work uh, for Maker, he used to be part of the game station when we were the game station. I saw him for the first time in a long time last night at, at the Sam fire pit party. Party. It was just all of us sitting around eating pizza. Whatever. So I saw Nathan and I was really excited because it's been so long. And I guess after we had, you know, talked and interacted a bit, he decided, you know, I'm going to go look on, I'm going to go look on her Instagram, see what she's, you know, been up to, see some pictures of stuff. You know, I know she's been traveling a lot. <laughs> He opens up his Instagram and starts looking at my pictures, and he was like, I see your life is still mugs and cats. It's <laughs> like, yes, that's, uh, yes, that's a good representation of what I do with my life. He was like, this is literally just mugs and cats, like all of this. It's like, if you, get, if you get a bit further down in there, there's some Belgium stuff. He was like, oh, yeah, there it is. And I was like, yeah, and there's a couple, a couple England pictures, but yes, it's mostly, it's mostly mugs and cats, that is... That is what I do with my time, so. <laughs> it was good. It was good times. Also, did another fun thing with my hair. Super cool. Wait, let me. I cracked my back. I cracked my back just then. She, like, curled all of it and then just kind of, like, slowly pulled it all back and then just twisted it all up. I put the little flower in there because I wanted the flower there. 
but I really like this one too. It's so awesome because, you know, one day, one day when I'm not doing this job anymore and I don't have an excuse for somebody to do my hair in the morning, I'll still remember that these things were possible. <laughs> and I can be like, maybe I can try to do that thing. That one thing that happened that time. And that'll be cool. It was funny though because the hair kept falling out. Because my hair is really thin. There's a lot of it, but it's really thin. So, like, sometimes when I bobby pin my hair, it literally just falls out of the bobby pin, which is very strange. So, you know, it's all curled, and she's, like, pulling it back. And this, all of this stayed in place. But then when she was doing, like, trying to twist it in the back and pin it, it just kept falling out. And she was like, what is happening? <laughs> just, uh, just stay. So later, later we were laughing because... It looks nice, but in the evening when I take it out, it's just going to be bobby pin city, which is awesome. I used to have a problem where I would run out of bobby pins all the time. And that is not a problem anymore because pretty much every time I get home, I just take out all my bobby pins and put them in my little bobby pin holder. I have one of those small Tupperware containers that's supposed to be for like sus. Nah, I use p bobby pins in there. I have two of them that came with a big package. I got one of those big sets that's like snapware, right? And it came with two really, really tiny ones. And I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? I know they're for sauce, but what am I supposed to do with that? I'm never going to use these. And then eventually, one of them, I put all of my little people that, that use hair ties will know the difference. But like the little plastic hair ties versus the legit hair ties. So like legit hair ties you use for, for tying a ponytail, but the tiny plastic ones you use for, say, small braids, things like that. Hello, motorcycle. So I have one of the tiny Tupperware containers that has, there's a motorcycle gang going by right now. Oh my goodness. I'm talking about hair ties. You guys want in? One of them has tiny hair ties and one of them has bobby pins. And every now and then the bobby pins, you know, they go down a little bit and then they're immediately filled back up. It's not even a problem, which is great. Although I feel bad because I feel like that probably means that they have to buy a lot of bobby pins. <laughs> they're just constantly running out and I'm like, God, if only bring back our bobby pins. Gah. But I don't, I don't do that. If they asked, I would. If they asked for me to bring the bobby pins back, I would. But... Unless it's pointed out to me as an issue, I'm going to keep them forever. <laughs> I don't even use them that, that much anymore. Although, I use them more when my bangs are long. Right now, my bangs are pretty long. Like, look at this. Like, what? My bangs are really long right now. How did that happen? I, just, I had them as, as, like, actual bangs. Like, actual fringe. Um, how long ago was that? Last March is when I got them cut. Have I, did I get them trimmed? after that at all maybe not because i think i got them a little shorter than i wanted them to be but i did maybe on purpose I'm trying to remember my state of mind at the time you know when i when i got my my little bob like a while back like a year legit a year ago i think yeah i think that was the last time that i cut my bangs so my hair actually like grew pretty fast now that i think about it hmm huh but, uh, yeah, when my bangs are really long, I tend to use bobby pins a lot more because my bangs are constantly falling in my face and I just want them out of there. But when I have bangs, like, like actual bangs, there's no need. So, just depends. Depends on the world I'm living in at the time, hair-wise, you know? <laughs> depends on your state of mind, man. Yeah? You know? Oh, sweeties, you sneezing, you sneezing a little, my cutie. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I fell into a cat vortex. Ah. So now, I am going to play a few games. <laughs> Very jazzed. And that's kind of my plan for the rest of the day. It's just to record gameplay, because I haven't, I ran out a couple of days ago. I've been trying to put the live stream together so that I can put that up, but I always forget how long that takes. It just takes a while. So what can you do? But that's okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else happening today. Oh, I have a meeting at five. Oh, that's right. I'm glad we talked about this. <laughs> I'm glad we discussed this. Oh, wait. I had a thing I wanted to ask you. Okay. 
Reply in the comments if, if you know. I'm trying to figure out how, what are sneaky ways to learn somebody's birthday without them knowing that you're thinking about their birthday. Is that weird? Okay, so let me set the stage. There's a girl that I know. I want to give her something for her birthday because she helped me out with a thing. And I know she's married, but I don't have her husband's phone number. I don't know who any of her close friends are. She doesn't have her birthday on Facebook or anything else. And I'm like, how do I figure it out without just literally going to her and saying, when's your birthday? Like a big old creep. How do I do that? What are, what are sneaky ways to figure out somebody's birthday? Can have somebody else ask? But then, she'll, but then she still knows that somebody cares about her birthday. Not that that's a bad thing, but just like, I don't know. I don't want to raise suspicion. What do I do? I don't know. So if you have an idea, put it in the comment section below. But otherwise, I hope you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. <gasps> Say bye, Sherlock. Eee!